MedWatch 7 is brought to you by Comanche County Memorial Hospital. It's week three of Comanche County Memorial Hospital Spirit of Survival training program. This week, Coach Matt Aguero focuses on running form and five steps you can take to improve and manage it. It's a common problem runners and walkers suffer from and may not even know it. Poor running form. A lot of runners, when they start running and getting tired, your form just gets bad. Training coach Matt Aguero says that can slow your race time down and if not corrected, it can lead to injury. How can you improve your running or walking form? Aguero has five tips, starting with posture. With that, you want to make sure your hips are underneath you. Everything's in a straight line. Shoulders, hips, feet. Imagine a rope pulling your, the top of your head up so your chin is, is level. Not looking down or not looking up. Next up is leaning. When you lean, you want to have a forward lean from your hips. Not a bend. There's a big difference between a lean and a bend. Lifting is also important for runners to avoid injury. Aguero says many athletes push off rather than lift off, and that's not good for your body. When you're lifting, you're using your big muscles, your hamstrings and your calves, rather than your shins and your quads. A lot of times this will prevent shin splints if you're having shin splints. How you land can also affect your running performance. Aguero recommends taking it easy on your heels. The way your foot is designed, you have an arch that'll prevent, that'll give you a little leeway when you land. If you're landing on the heel, you're not getting any of that bounce. So you want to try to land on the mid or your forefoot. Your stride also plays a role in improving form, which is why Aguero advises using cadence properly in your training. If, you're, if you can get your cadence down, then you're less likely to land on your heel and you're less likely to overstride that can hurt uh, quads and shins. You can correct it by getting a stopwatch and counting your steps as you run. Go out for a run, get your watch, calculate for one minute, and count how many times your right foot touches the ground. If it's below 90, then you're overstriding. You want to at least be at 90. All good tips to ensure you have a safe and comfortable finish at the Spirit of Survival on October 6th. The training groups meet on Saturdays at 7 a.m. at Elmer Thomas Park. For more information, log on to spiritofsurvival.com or call 585-5406. For MedWatch 7, I'm Caroline Kimbrell. MedWatch 7 has been brought to you by Comanche County Memorial Hospital. For transcripts, click on the MedWatch link at kswo.com or go to ccmhonline.com.